Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sam and Max. Joining me are Victor Hark and Cat Paw. Tigers, Hello. Tigers later, probably. Tigers went to take a test. So. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's start this huh. game. Do 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 do. <clears throat> loading. We're loading, guys. And more lounge music. Also bees. Oh, man. Tons of bees. We're gonna make tons of, <laughs> we're gonna make tons of references to bees this time around. Whoa. Sorry, my sister was trying to get my. Yeah. Na 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 na. <laughs> I might need to turn down the music a little bit, but you know I can do that real quick. Yeah. Music by Jer uh, Jared Emerson Johnson. I think that was what it said. Oh no, I didn't get to read it all bit before it disappeared completely. That, but oh well. Situation comedy. <laughs> uh oh, showdown. <laughs> Brr. Between Sam and Max, stand up phone rings. I got him! Get the phone! Ah! I got it! <laughs> Hello. Yes? Yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. What? We're on our way. We need a blonde cheerleader, Batman. <laughs> Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. <laughs> Myra Stump. Of course. The darling hawk <laughs> of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. No! I don't normally endorse that. the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away. We're at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'm gonna adjust the sound a little bit for music at least. Mm hmm There we go. All right, now let's watch the TV. Ow. Welcome back, America, to day three and a half of my most special episode ever. Three days You don't want to miss half? any of what our exciting hell? guests coming up this hour. Plus, everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer. Non-dairy creamer. Non-dairy creamer. We need sleep. Oh, I oh see. God, this you is were horrible. All <laughs> when I gave you cars, and then all expense paid vacations, and then home entertainment centers, but now, after I worked so hard and sacrificed so much, you'd rather sleep? It's all about you, isn't it? I guess nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. Maybe we'll start using non dairy creamer someday. That's more like it. You see, there's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a sloucher. Why, good thank old you. TV. It's the only way I still feel well adjusted. Thanks, Max. I don't think we have the hang <laughs> we need the hanger this episode. I'm not really sure. What? The hanger? Uh, I'll bring what it. What do up. you mean? The reception's perfect right now. Nope, can't. Uh, I was right. Messages, By the way, can't. messages. Yeah, I Where's know. the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise. <laughs> the news collection is a surprise. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, but first let's go check the closet. There's a gift, or a, a trophy prize from last oh. mission. <laughs> oh, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. That's nice, Max. Thanks. Yeah, you, you go over there and do whatever. Okay, answering machine time. Yay. Sam, it's me. Open the window. I'm trapped in the ledge again. Great. Sam, come on. I have to pee. And the PTA is here. And they're carrying signs. Uh-oh. That's not good. Hey, Sam. It's me again. I found a way to solve all three of my problems at once. But I'm going to be needing bail. <laughs> okay, then. Thanks so for that. Guess what he did. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sam. This is your therapist calling. I have to cancel our appointment because I'm giving up the practice to go into publishing. Speaking of which, thanks for all your great material. Yeah, 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 Sybil. 
It's like the third time you've changed careers now. You're These donuts the must be three months old. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment! You oh. bet, little buddy. Okay, then. And then go click open the open door. Hello? I mean, window. Jerk! That's what happens when you click the open window. Hello? <laughs> Jerk! <laughs> Jerk! 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 Just random jerk! Okay. I think that's all. Oh wait, oh wait, I forgot something. I need to go back in. Just, oh wait, no. No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Okay then. <laughs> I was just making sure I thought that was, but that's next episode. That is the next episode of this. We should probably go stop by Sybil, who is now oh, a... Goodness. And Bosco's, yes. Sybil's, and she is now a tabloid rag. That's what her yep. profession is. And her tabloid is called Alien Love Triangle. That's great. Thanks, Sybil, for being so. <laughs> Sam! Max! How nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. <laughs> huh? It's my new career! I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. Okay, then. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times huh? is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. Vatican spokesperson? What? Oh, okay. man. Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows your clientele quite a bit. No, not really. <laughs> okay, then. There's fight. nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it. It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what did those poor cattle do to deserve that? No. What do aliens do for romance? Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. Have you learned anything interesting since you started this, uh, magazine? I learned why Elvis had such an otherworldly voice. Elvis was not an alien. Sure he was. He just wore makeup to cover his emerald green skin. Frankly, Sybil, well, this project is disturbing, <laughs> as well as distressingly intimate. Like seeing Stephen King getting a hot butter massage. Thanks oh, for you that. saw last week's uh, issue. Last week's issue? What? Ah, who else? Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Dr. Phil. Well, that goes without saying. <laughs> Anyone Is else? anybody else an alien that we might not know about? I have about? to agree. Yes. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Yes, just yes. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. Thanks. Yes. yes. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. <laughs> Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your what latest project makes that my skin decidedly crawling. That was her tiger clock going off. Me too, me. and I like oh, okay. it. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back. We'll Sybil. be back. Keep watching the supplies. The supplies, not the skies. The supplies. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Thank you for that, really. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Why, thank you for that, Sam. Now we go to Bosco's. Yay, Bosco's! <sighs> well, this is usually going to mean bad times for everyone. I forget what his first personality is after his... Never. Well, I'm not... Are you going to look at the candy machine in the newspaper stands? Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna... Yep. All right, let's see here. Newspaper stand. Oh, Alien yeah. Love Triangle Times. Looks like they're sold out. Okay, the other newspaper thing. Has been Brady culture behind bars. He finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. Why, thank you. Okay, moving on. It looks like candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. Fish tank I've gravel I've had worse. Again. What the fuck? 
Thanks, Bosco, really. Okay, let's go see Bosco. Oh, wait, I have a fairly good idea. What ho! Oh, jeez. Samuel? Maximilian? Yes. What the? You're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst. It's me, Bosco. Okay. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, <laughs> the third. The third. The third. Sam, of course there was something bottom. Yeah. I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. English. <laughs> okay, then. No, really. What made you convert to British? It's because everybody's got an in for me, that's why. Of course. Yeah, we heard. I had to get a disguise to throw them off the trail. Oh, they'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. <laughs> Clever clogs. Okay, then. He just calls those what shoes. sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man! They're after me! Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh no. The skin bodies are like skinheads, but ten times worse! Sure they're not a hundred times worse? Yeah, maybe a hundred times. Maybe a million! Okay, then. These skin bodies, what exactly are they doing to you? They're stealing my... I mean... Uh, pinching... My shaving cream! Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. Of course. All right, then. What this happened to me? Not to be like rude, but heads. why isn't your yeah. fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I'd better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from b -Ted. Meaning nothing stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. Dash it all! I knew I forgot something! <laughs> Good job there, Bosco. Yeah. Okay, we want to buy something. We want to buy something. Hmm. You have yes. any? Mm. Uh, quite so, quite so. Okay. You got what it. have you got? Well, ah, there is geez, still I one kind of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't got yet. But I can click oh, it out. Yeah, I it's love so. shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? No. Okay. Do you have any fine leather jackets? No. Okay, next. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? No. That'd be hard to chew. Yeah, that Do would you be. have any plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? <laughs> Okay. No. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh. Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, I wish. Do you have any ketchup? No. Uh, oh wait. Got you. Blast. Drat. Dash it all. <laughs> okay. Do you have any complimentary fresh oh, garlic? Back to the start. No. Yep. No. No. <laughs> we'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid, spiffing, tickety boo. Just bring it to the counter. Okay, but first, what's behind the counter? What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. <laughs> of course it's going to... Okay, well, give us the voice modulator. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Let's see here. Uh, 30 shillings would be about 1 million American dollars. What? A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Worth every shilling, trust me, trust me. Thanks, Bosco. I think Bosco. his conversion's off. Yeah, his conversion's Nothing for us right now. Off. Indeed. He needed us agree. Thanks, Bosco. Us. Pip, pip, honey nut cheerio. Honey nut cheerio. <laughs> of course, honey nut cheerios. Let's go look at the sledges. What? With new flavors. Sludgies. 
This week's flavors, bangers and mash. What? That's sausages and potatoes to you yanks. Why, thanks, Oh, good. Go. For a second, I thought it was something disgusting. <laughs> and suggestive. I've been needing to go Say to Max. The, an Irish pub I am here. not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Aww. Same thing as last time? Yep. Oh, well. Irish pub with fingers and mash. Yep. Okay, let's get that shaving cream now. Oh, wait, we won't get the shaving cream. That's I right. could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. <laughs> Oh, pig, dog, pig, dog. The skin bodies rule the streets. Yeah. You think you would kill them? Black, bugger, blimey, bollocks. The little bladder did it again. After him, I mean, uh, tally ho. Tally ho, of course. Thanks, Bosco. Tally ho, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being so useful. Really. Okay, after the skin bodies, I guess, which is just Jimmy Two Teeth and his. Friends, I guess. <laughs> yep, there they go. After them, tally ho. Where are we going, Sam? Hey! <laughs> the skin bodies can't be stopped! Thanks for that. Oh, yes, again. After those rats! Away! Can you guess where we're gonna get there the million dollars? There Let's get them! How do those yep. laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin body can't be stuck! Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask! You can't dodge my shots forever! Watch it! The skin body can't be stuck! Shoot him! I forget how to. <laughs> this skin buddy can't be stopped. What? You gotta make him crash. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, then I think I can do that. Shoot him, Sam. I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Okay, I think they're right where they. No, they're a little bit off. There we go. Hey, the saving cream! Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. And away we go. Now we can go to the uh, studio. Oh, the bro. movies. Yep. There, My Moira. Wait, God damn it! <laughs> Not Moira, Myra. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. The TV studio. Goody! Goody. Where's Goody? Always Goody. And now we're gonna meet Hugh Bliss, too. Oh. Ah! <laughs> bliss. It's gonna be so much fun. Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W-A-R-P. Television so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly <laughs> quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Officer. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. Thanks, man. How? <laughs> How? I, I know, that's a good question. Okay, go talk to the director lady here. Let's go over there. Oh, my director. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not <laughs> actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. What? <laughs> Sam, I think my <laughs> hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next? Who's next? Uh, seriously, we're pleased. You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. Okay. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of... Do not mention that name in my presence. Which yes, name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. 
I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> she had it I'm sorry. What was your question? <laughs> God damn it. Why don't you like You her? and Myra. Why the hate? Look, Myra I runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. <laughs> what are you Ow. doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. Well You're summarized. hiring extras? Okay. No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. Okay, then. We'd like to audition. Mm, you'd like sure. to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into yes. horror movies. <laughs> it's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Of course. Okay, Sam, ready? I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, <laughs> rabbit! Oh. Um... Grr. No! Dig deep! You should be just... frothing mad! Hmm... Okay... <laughs> well, this is why we brought the shaving cream, you see? Stole it more so. Yeah. Stole from another store. Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who Zip it. Okay, Max. You just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Oh Max. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief stricken. Now show me the emotion. <laughs> uh boo hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a natural Botox reserve! Grief, I said! Give me grief! Uh... Tear gas grenade. Oh yeah, that's right. Do 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 do. <laughs> Perfect! Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay! <laughs> Uh-oh. <gasps> Idiot! What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my head. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such in? authenticity. That's a good question. I was convinced I you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. Effects? The search <laughs> for the Midtown Cowboys is over! You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Oh, Let's hurry, okay, Sam! Then. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left! Let's get a move on. Yep. Aw, oh, I smacked Sam. I mean, All right, Max, people, let's anyway, get the stage set up. Wee. Celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, oh right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. She's such a nice woman, isn't she? She's such a psychotic woman. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that I hate about the season one game, though, is that due to the fact that they wanted to compress it down so it would be easier to download, the sound files are kind of odd at times. Weren't you just... Because I think she just artifacts. defied the laws of physics. But, oh well. Sorry, you'd be amazed yeah. how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. <laughs> she Doesn't just tell us a bit. <laughs> Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. Thanks, I Max. knew you guys Thanks. were right for the show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboy, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. What? My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. 
You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yeah. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. <laughs> ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. Globe Theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny, and he'll handle it from there. Okay, sure. then. Anything else? We'll do, lady. Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement Watchers. that pays for the whole show. Oh, one God. of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. What? Okay. That makes no sense. Yep. Let's start taping. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! Midtown Cowboys. <laughs> I didn't notice the theme song before. I know you're Let there be light. I'm going to take this lampshade now. Hey! And put it on the cow. Open up! There we go. Life of the party. Oh! Yep. Mr. Featherly's here. Damn that Mr. Uh -huh. Featherly! I know you've got a... a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? Uh... This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la large. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army days. I like how there's a fake laugh track and everything. It's just horrible. Goodness, who left this lying here? Oh, I'll pick up that plate and we'll go and, uh... We're gonna do something horrible. There's yes. Yes. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. It's a cow pie. As in, you know, cow poop. And we're gonna put a plate under it. There. And now Mr. Featherly's gonna come over and... Say! What's this? <laughs> Moo. I I'm sorry, <laughs> what was that you said? Moo. Uh... <laughs> Moon pie. Yep. He said Moo Goo Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. That's Whoa. not really Chinese. Super! I'll try yeah, some I know, of that! Doesn't it? <laughs> Where's the plate? Uh, right over there. I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Aha! Hmm, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> That's one word for it. Hmm, <laughs> there's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. Oh, God, that's horrible. <sighs> this moo moo whatever stuff is really good. What's it called in English? Uh... Cow pie! Thanks. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like... Uh-oh, he realized what it Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Thanks for that. And cut. Phew. That was comic gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. That would be the Mr. Featherly, the chicken. <laughs> nice you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Oh. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Okay. There we go. There's a wall here. Just a random chicken, yeah. Yep. This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. Okay, then. Thanks for that, Max, really. You went to the White House? <sighs> you probably... Uh, who's never going to be a millionaire is where we're going to next. Which Look, means... Max, there's the door to my reset. 
Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh no. Bliss. Yes. Hugh Bliss? No, Hugh no. Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. Uh. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. <laughs> yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Because I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I, too, am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can read your mind. You like As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. Uh, okay, I will. 6,373,411.98. Sam? <laughs> Lucky guess. That's <laughs> it? Think of something else. Uh... Creepy. Uh... Creepy guy away. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan! Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? oh? Think of something else. <laughs> oh god, I hate him every time I hear him talk. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime! Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. <laughs> really? Think of something else. <laughs> oh. Can you read my line? <laughs> Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me. Do me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, show us a magic Dazzle trick. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Blue. Ochre, ochre. No, mauve. Bird sienna. Thanks. Uh, how about a color I've heard of? Hmm. Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Uh, blue. Do blue, Hugh. You pretty much turned blue. Oh. Yep. I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? Uh, yeah, about that. Make him green. Oh, yeah. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Uh, green. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. Ah. Okay, it's... yeah. It's... Say, Hugh Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather really round. Different. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Of course. Okay. Always magic. Say, <laughs> chocolate-covered puppies. Please, chocolate-covered chocolate -covered puppies. puppies. <laughs> where's the, where's the picture, ever. Magic Man? Oh my! I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> hmm. Check like your pockets. Like Maybe I left it there. <laughs> Shut up! God damn, he's annoying. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Blue. Do blue, Hugh. Blue, oh. oh. Okay, see ya. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, uh -huh. and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Uh... Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> when a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <laughs> no. <sighs> He's never going to die. Well, let's 
Let's try a game of who's never going to be a millionaire. We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Bing. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Okay. Listen, Sam, they love us. Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire. Start loading the armored cars, Hugh, because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true. It's true? How do okay. we know it's true? Are you ready? Has he used it to actually power oh, a small happy day. village? It's an easy one. Okay, what's the easy If one? a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? What? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you there. Uh, no chance. I'm going to go with my gut and say, Hugh Bliss. I'm flattered, but no, that is completely wrong. You lose! Yay! This is an outrage! I demand a recount! Uh. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss! Oh, great. No thanks. That's what I I'm content want. to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay! Find out which okay. poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions <laughs> right after these messages. Hugh Bliss is we the weirdest person ever. I swear to God. You need to switch those cards. Yeah, I know. I'll get to that. But first, I gotta go talk to Myra. God damn it, I wanna say Moira. I'm gonna take one of your books. <laughs> you Life like troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Just die. Already got a copy. I read it every morning on the can. Multicolored happiness indeed. <laughs> I have a book. Emetics. Life troubling oh, God, your digestion. I want the book. Reality <laughs> is a. Thanks. We've heard this commercial. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it did that. <laughs> Yay, Sam. Uh -oh. It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. Uh... How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests! You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo! Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park! Bah! Okay. I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. <laughs> Those are two separate things. Sure. Oh, okay. Or can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? I had this kind That's of conversation That's much with better. My sister no, yesterday. we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Uh... Can we be guests on your show? Can't. May we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself! Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition, or there ought to be a law kind of way. <laughs> Not good enough. I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract, for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording contract and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, yeah. TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course. What kind of show do you think this is? Are uh. you sure you want us to answer that? Look, <laughs> it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? Okay, then. So we should go see Civil As it happens, we yep. brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Well, 
I'm certainly impressed with how far standards for entertainment have fallen in this country. Um, Sir, you took all the guests. Yeah. Now, you're also going to need a recording contract and a nice juicy scandal to be a guest on my show. Okay. Your eyes uh, look a little spirally. Are you feeling all right? Of course I am, sweetheart. By the way, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? And you should really be flossing. What? You certainly sound like your normal self. But why are you keeping everybody in there? I'm just doing what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. It's just, after opening presents from well-wishers, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. Okay. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. But I'm beginning to suspect that you might be hypnotized. Don't be silly. Hypnotism is just an excuse people use today to abdicate responsibility. What? I hate how this country's become a bushel of Bill and Betty brainwashies. Hypnotized or not, that sounds like Myra's patented blend of lovingly cutting criticism and charismatic know it all a tree. Thank you for that. Sounds like Bosco. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you no. should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? <laughs> Probably we didn't see it. <laughs> Max, just, you know, how he has, always has that huge grin with the weird-looking smile, you know. The grin of psychoticness. Yep. Okay, back to Midtown Cowboys set, and then over to the other set that's on the other side, I believe. Where's the cue card? Yep, I need to go get the cue card. God damn it, why is there just a sofa? Oh, hi, the cow. It's nice to see you, cow. Moo. Moo. And... Da, 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 and away so we you go. you put us out and you get melon, er, melon milk. Okay, now we're at the next... I just don't see how you can sing and be oh, a judge. Oh, God. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish yeah. paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Uh-oh. Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced idol. faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, That's bye. Nice. Take a seat. Thanks for that. Goody! I get to sing! Oh god, that's Welcome the last Welcome back thing to I Embarrassing need. Idol! The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers! Oh, this is gonna be horrible. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Oh god! Well, that was a bit sloppy, I but I particularly like how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very nice. impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? <laughs> Not so far. Yay! <laughs> okay, I'll go try, but first I'm going to go steal those cute cards of his. And get them. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. What? Can I look <laughs> at these? Okay. Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. That was really impressive, yes. Okay, now let's go <laughs> and try to win this contest. There's an acid pit. What's with the pool of water? It's acid, Brain Freeze. Don't you ever watch the show? That's not normal. I don't think that's normal. Hey, can I try my pipes out on this thing? Go right ahead. Frankly, we can use all the contestants we can muster. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Okay, then. Totally not crazy. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Uh... Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. Okay, then. Uh, uh, I forget how to do this. God damn it. Howling at that drippy old honk Oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> she 
She's at brunch today with some baboon. Baboon. <laughs> Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. Peepers is still getting my vote. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peepers is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh. Yes! This Remember, folks, on Embarrassing hell. Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. Okay. And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. Yeah, right. They're gonna change their ch chances all the time. Okay, let's go talk to Wizard. Do to do to do. Last time we saw you, you and your diminutive former child star brothers were in the thrall of a megalomaniac hypnotist with bad hair. What have you been up to since then? Well, after you hit us over the head, repeatedly, our careers have taken an upswing. Clearly. Hey, being a judge on Embarrassing Idol is a tremendous opportunity. I'm feeling the magic already. Okay. Tell me, old judge, what gruesome qualities do you look for in a singing performance? Fraternity. I'm voting for Peepers no matter what. He's my brother. Bias. The one who didn't forget my birthday today, I might add. I said I was sorry. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. I'm glad somebody remembered. I said I was sorry. What more do you want? A treat would be nice. Isn't this also St. Boniface Day? Patron no. saint of carnivorous plants and spiky things? I think that's next week. Okay, then. I actually have an area in my city called St. Boniface. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Okay, let's go Enjoy talk. Oh, you're judging. Let's Catch good. you later. Go uh -huh. talk to, uh, Specs. Okay. So, Wizard's birthday is today, huh? See? Some people pay attention to these things. Oh, come on. I already said I was sorry for forgetting. Uh. I confess I don't really understand how you could forget Wizard's birthday. I mean, aren't you guys triplets? Technically, yes. Yeah. Uh. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. What can you tell me about this contest you're judging? Not much to tell. People sing, we judge them. You want to know more, ask the director. We judges don't have to concern ourselves with operational details. Okay. Tell me about the criteria you use in judging a singing contest such as this one. I'm a stickler for technical proficiency. Usually I look for a high note. Someone who can hit a really high note always impresses me. I see. I could probably hit higher. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I've got some lines to color outside of. It's your life. Back to wizard, real quick. You didn't turn up your MSN. Yes, I know. What kind of perks oh well. go with this gig? <laughs> Do you get fancy dressing rooms and candy sorted by color? Ooh, craft services food. Have them bring me a roasted Canada goose stuffed with lightly bruised olives, please. Okay. Not likely. I ordered a cake for my birthday, but they never brought it. I think the craft services crew all went in to watch the Myra show, like everybody else. All we got was a basket of tomatoes! Ugh. Okay. I don't like tomatoes. What kind either. of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? I like them just fine, but they don't like me. What do you mean? I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato on the plate. How Say no more. I don't even know. Well, I don't mind tomatoes. Enjoy your judging. Catch you later. Uh-huh. Okay, time to go back to, uh, Hugh Bliss. No! Don't you like Hugh Bliss? <laughs> no! Why not? It's Hugh Bliss. And we're gonna go win a million dollars by tricking it, kind of. We're kind of cheaters that way, but, you know. Yep. And then we can get... And then go see Civil afterwards. Yep. Get the voice modulator. But for, and then we also have to stop by the cooking show. But first... Do-do-do-do-do. 
card slot. There we go. We replace the uh, questions hey, a perfect fit. with the lyrics that uh, Peepers had. You know, all that wonderful We've stuff. We've got another contestant. Hit it! Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. <laughs> okay, are you ready? No. Hmm. The question is, am I blue? Uh... Yes, you are. Yes. Yes, you. Yes, you are. Well, what do you know? That's um, absolutely right! Oh, man. Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! No! We're rich! <laughs> Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're okay. right over there. Okay, Hold on. then. Can you buy deep fried licorice rubs with food stamps? Uh, we'll take sure. it. Sure. Why not? That's gonna One, be a that, his pocket two, is gonna be freaking heavy. Three. 174, 175, 999,999, and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam! It's burning a hole in my pocket! It's putting quite a bulge in mine. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell does he even carry all that, but oh well. I don't know. Now we go to the cooking table. show. At least I think we do. Yeah, we can. Cooking show door. Cooking show door, thank you. You guys are gonna like this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's good. I just don't remember how to make the cake, but oh well. God, someone's making noise out there. <laughs> not me. No, I'm not sure if you can hear it on my end. Probably not. But Welcome yeah, to I Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, um, Pretty much poisonous. Uh, hello. Now. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, Hello, audience. greetings, <laughs> worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. All right. What are we making, Sam? Uh, a casserole. We're making a delicious casserole. Let's just go to our trusty ingredient rack and select <laughs> some savories. We're gonna go for through all purpose of them because they say some stuff. Uh, some it's a pot, stuff, Sam. So. Sure it is, little buddy. And you're a kettle. <laughs> okay. A fistful of squid tentacles. Ooh, that's my favorite western. Okay. A pinch or two of wombat secretions. Ugh. Make sure they're <laughs> lightly damp to the touch. The wombats, not the secretions. A handful or two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Uh. You want to use the sulfuric acid sparingly. It can easily overwhelm the other ingredients. And, eat and your the taste bowl. buds and your esophagus. Of course, you're going to want a few dashes of hair gel. Don't worry, bachelors. As long as you use it only for cooking, no one will think you less of a man. <laughs> okay. No more than a dash of uranium pellets. Uranium. They also go great in Chuck's mix. Yeah, of course, thanks. Of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip. Tweed isn't just for cooking. It also makes a great toupee. Thanks. A dash of pink thanks, mink thanks. oil is a must. Nothing says, I last ate real food in the 80s like the inclusion of something pink. <laughs> can we say enough about roofing tile shards? Obviously uh, we can. Obviously we can't, yeah. Every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in <laughs> enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. <laughs> MSG is You'll want to crush up some dried hard. dingo kidneys. Come on, bachelors. You know you have them. Look under the sofa cushions. Oh, wow, really? Of course. Okay. Who could forget the asbestos sprinkles? Yeah. This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it, too. Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. 
Well said, Max. Okay. Every meal has to include some of the standards, <laughs> like monk paste. Don't forget that saying! Monk paste for the taste, Pope vest for the zest! Okay. And red, Make sure to include red dye, red dye, dye number, two. number two. Yep. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking! Exactly. Cook. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time, ta-da! You've successfully oh, that looks perverted like the, the laws thing of I've God ever... and man. <laughs> we... Oh boy, let's take it with us. We su uh, successfully converted the laws of man. I'm happy. Welcome okay, once again to, to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poisoned Chuck Flagon. I wonder these how guys. he got food poisoned. Thank Possibly you. Possibly by trying to Welcome eat all to the, the show. shit that he's made. What are we making this time, Sam? A cake. Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Okay, we'll go with red Make dye sure number two. Make sure to include two. red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. And cook it. We've already got that thing we made before. No, I ate it while you were looking at the ingredients. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Thanks. Into Max. the oven it Thanks. goes. Just, and yeah. through the magic of TV cooking show time, there's One gorgeous, delicious that's cake. That's not the red dye I used. Ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Okay, now we have a cake. Now we can leave. Cake. This fridge <laughs> isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. Does not surprise me. Uh, take a seat. What? What? Tigers is back. No one cares. They'll have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's lard. That's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis. Or start a circus of grease squirrels! That's I it. rue the day you lost your NEA funding, Max. NEA funding? What? Oh, man. A circus of grease squirrels, maybe? I think that's a great idea. I would love a... You know, circus of grease squirrels. Okay, now we gotta leave, and I forget how we leave. All you right. Embarrassing yeah. idol, I think there's a door there. Yep. And I hit Max again and he did not go wee. This is wee. disappointing in so many this ways. This is disappointing. Hi peepers, wee. bye peepers, go to hell peepers. Jeepers, creepers, get a load of those peepers. There we go. <laughs> And back to where we were before. Yeah, you keep doing that. Okay, Sybil, first you. Remember we took we took a picture with the then green Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss thing. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. The most <laughs> annoying thing I've ever had to deal with. Sybil, here you go. No, that's not quite what I did. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. Sybil, that photo is a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Uh oh. Available at newsstands now. No, we're totally scandalized. Whatever will we do, we'll totally get on Myra and talk about it. It'd be awesome. Do we have proof of it? Huh? Do you have proof of it? Yes, we have proof of it now. So. Now we need to go over to Bosco's and get the uh, voice modulator, quote unquote. It's a chip tally ho. Chip tally ho. Cheerios. Okay, honey nut Cheerios. Let's see here. We're famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin? <laughs> They've already been misbehaving. Oh, behave. <laughs> They've been misbehaving for a long time. Oh, man. That's horrible. Oh. It's Sam and Max. I saw you on the telly. How do you watch TV from in there? I've got monitors you don't even know about. Why, thanks, Bosco. Hello, sir. 
What ho, old bees? Bees. <laughs> bees. Bees. <laughs> oh my god. I want to buy we something. We want to buy something. Quite so. Uh, give us the voice modulator. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps? I suppose I must accept them. Both the dash government conspiracy. It's uh -huh. hogwash! Complete codswallop! Okay. Here then is your chemical based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. <laughs> but it works, trust me, trust me. Funny voices. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. It works! <laughs> Thanks, Bosco! Oh. Okay, then. Thanks, Max. Uh, 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 I mean, Sam, for being completely crazy with your Batman-esque uh, lines. Well, you know, the trippy 60s era Batman. Oh, I watched that. I tried watching that. Didn't get that far, but we watched the shark repellent blow up the shark. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, the TV studio. The TV studio. Oh, wait. Goody! Oh, we have to. Fuck, I forgot. Wait, we forgot. Oh, yeah, the ketchup. We have to get rid of peepers or else we're not going to be able to do much of anything. So, back to the... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't catch you. It's fine. And we're back. Smack uh, Max for us. I'm going to try to. No, Max. Nope, it doesn't do it. For some reason, he does not go wee when I do it. What the hell, Max? <laughs> maybe, oh. maybe he doesn't do it in this episode because I don't recall him getting smacked in the, in the episode that I saw, you know, on online. I saw him say wee a couple of times in the studio. Who knows? Oh, well. Okay. Who goes there? Oh, it's you lot. Thanks, Bosco, for being so interesting again. Okay, this cake, it now has the best frosting you've ever seen. A little ketchup is always good on a cake. Yes, of course it is. Unless you're making meatloaf. Oh yeah, totally. And away we go! Now we'll be able to get on my wrist show. Because we still need that recording contract, because apparently, you know, celebrities need a recording contract, but okay. Do, 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 uh, and get to the car. Where are we going, Sam? Where are we going, Sam? Yep, saw that coming. The TV studio. The TV studio. Goody! Goody! And away we go. Okay. Happy birthday, wizard. Here's your cake. Enjoy it. Don't you mean... Happy birthday! Oh boy! Fairly sure it's Birthday wizard. Birthday cake! That red frosting looks tasty. That red <laughs> frosting. <yeah. laughs> no, no, no. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Boy, that was really. Oh, oh, really? Oh, uh oh. Time out for number two. Thanks. Number two this time. What? What the? Darn it! He'd better not be going to see Myra. Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Okay. Vote for me! No. No, peepers. Go to hell. Testing. One, two, three. Yes, you still sound like a squirrel. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Uh... Bust Moon. Down... Uh, bust Down ho Hound Dog Blues. Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. <coughs> <laughs> Howling at that drippy old hunk of blues. <laughs> okay. She's at brunch today with some baboons. Yeah. And then pity me. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Let's hear from our judges. I admire your courage even more than your singing. You've still got my vote. Thanks, little buddy. You really nailed that high note. Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. No. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Ben Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Oh. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. She's just like, oh, goldfish. And he's like, what? Okay, then. Okay, back to Midtown Cowboys, then to Myra Show. Uh, one second. Jeez. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. That's the game show door which we need to go to. Yep. Away! Who's never going to be a millionaire, which is now no longer in uh, service due to the fact that we made them bankrupt. And broke the set. Yep. The set is now exploded. Hi, Hugh Bliss. I'm not talking to you ever again. Oh, yes. Wait. Okay. Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've uh, got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. Uh. Hey, we get you new show. Again. Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show. Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. What if we have our own video game? Video games? Ugh. Those things will ruin your eyes. They're awful. <laughs> <laughs> really? We do have a recording yeah. contract. Hidden Bottom Records. Take a look. You should have us on as guests. I like my guests to be celebrities audiences are talking about. Have you been embroiled in any juicy scandals lately? Oh, Our yeah. landlady thinks I'm the one who broke the dryer in the basement. Come back when the media is talking about you. And don't forget to wash behind your ears first. Okay. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? You'll have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only so I can talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Yay! Naturally, uh, I will expect you to be on your best behavior yeah. and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and yes. don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about... You're While you're on my show, voice. you stay in your seats at all times. <laughs> you do not interrupt me when I'm talking and you treat the audience with the utmost uh, respect, blah, blah, blah. even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Gosh, Max. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. Why, thanks, Max. Thanks. You're always there for us. <laughs> yeah. Give her a hand, everyone! Mm -hmm. Betsy Bobine reading from her new book, the heart has four stomachs, ruminations on a life in Hollywood. Out what? now in all How major books. How does the cow stores. write a book? What? This <laughs> microphone is starting to spark from overuse. But that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Match? Matt. Yeah, for some reason. Sounded like she said match. Hold the hayride, <laughs> I little don't know. pal. Maybe she that bear that. seems <laughs> more than slightly hinky, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down <laughs> like ducks in a gutter. Hold it! My guests sit at that end! But that bear has got you. Sit! We'll just sit where you want us to, ma'am. Sure. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Uh why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. What? We're gonna have to play along. Sam okay. and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, 
We all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. What the hell is that? Avoid the subject! Uh, Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> what? What was that sound that Sorry, I Sorry, that was me. It was, it's started up somehow. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I didn't do anything! <laughs> There's something we should know about that picture in the Times. <laughs> Usually Cat does I'm not sure. Like I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. What? But the photo is not quite what it seems. How so? Uh... There was someone It doesn't else. tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. Now it How shocking! Morning. Who? And Jerry Springer. <laughs> Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. No, the cow! Oh, my! <laughs> Audience, shall we bring her back out again? Well, Bessie, what do you say to these allegations? <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> Bessie, shockingly, you're the only voice of common sense in Hollywood. You are to be commended. Why don't you relax with some sweet grass backstage while I browbeat my audience into blah 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 yak yak yak? Oh blah, God! Blah 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 yak 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 yak. yak, 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 yak blah, 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 Got a second, little buddy? Yak, 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 now that we're yak, big yak, stars, yak, I'd blah, normally blah, ask blah, that your people blah, call my people to set up a meeting. Blah, 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 but blah, blah, since yak, we're old yak, friends, yak, 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 You'll never blah, stop blah, it. Blah, blah, I say, yak, yak, relax yak, and enjoy yak, yak, the body, unreal soul-hollowing ride. The real threat here isn't Myra at all. It's that bear. I know. Nothing that cute should be allowed to exist. It has Myra in some sort of hypnotic thrall. You made that word up. Possibly, but that doesn't make it less true. According to the ultra strict rules of talk show reality, we're stuck sitting over here, possibly permanently. It's like Oprah. At least it's comfortable. True, but we can't do much from here. Celebrities don't always have to do things for themselves. She sounds so they perform kind of like and Oprah. have people do everything else for them. Okay. Never mind. Then I shall return to the warm womb of manufactured celebrity. <clears throat> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Okay. Hi, Max. I, uh, I'd like to talk about me. I prefer my guest's naked egos to be just a little less naked, dear. Did, did you oh, absolutely, with, uh, Myra. That's exactly what Reese Butterfingers told me when sniping river rats at Cannes. She thought I had the cool-eyed aim of a professional. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? And what was that? Cat? Um, did you try to get the... something to get... to disconnect the bear? No. Because you're supposed to do that when she's blabbing away. You can't do that when she's flapping away, though. You see the problem. No, I don't remember it being like that. <sighs> Hang on, I'm gonna check. I'd like to talk about myself! And a project you're working on, perhaps? You said it, Myra. I am an ongoing project, <laughs> like a golden calf or a graven image. I'll only rest once people are sacrificing their firstborn unto me. Also, I'd like to direct. Fame went to your head quickly, dear. It's a short trip. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? Okay, then. You're so intent with that. Let's talk about you, Myra. Me? What could anyone want to know about me? Maybe they'd like to know how honored you are to have me, Max, brilliant actor and acerbic wit, on your show. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? Yeah. I'd like to mention my pal Sam and something that happened the other day. Anecdotes about other celebrities, even ones as dubious as you two, are always welcome. Well, I was battering this purse snatcher with a broken parking meter and screaming, Die! Why won't you die? And Sam said, You crack me up, little buddy. The point being? I crack Sam up. 
Are you sure hey, you wouldn't rather talk about your <laughs> alien love triangle shenanigans? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I'd rather talk about it. Midtown. I'd rather talk about our smash hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. Okay, let's talk. You two have become the new breakout stars of a flaccid, dissolute sitcom in its final days. How wonderful for you. <laughs> Thanks, we brought a clip. You certainly did. I had a chance to watch it, and I refused to show it to my audience. How nice. Quite the it has a shocking joke involving a cow pie. It's a sad commentary on today's culture when the cow pie, once a staple of the American diet, what? blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Oh, okay. here we go again. I see why Myra only lets big stars on her show. They're easier targets? If you're big enough, there still might be something left when she's finished. Blah 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 blah. Yak 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 yak. Blah 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 blah. 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 Blah blah I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Yep. Uh, I'd like to talk about that bear. What? No. Oh. What should I do? I forget. Uh, sing. Oh, yeah. I'd like to release. I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? Howling at that trippy old hunk of moon. <laughs> Whoa. Careful there, tiger. That was wonderful. I'm so moved I almost don't have a long hectoring screed in me. Oh no, wait, there it is. Thank goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah 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 yak yak ah. yak yak. <laughs> blah 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 blah. She yak, keeps doing yak, that yak, all the yak. time. Yes, it ah, keeps going. Yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing we the alien the love triangle again. times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. Okay. Uh about the picture. There's here. more you should know about that picture in the Times. I wonder What's if that? this will affect anything. It's, uh, that's, uh, there was someone else involved. There are still others involved. Gas! Incredible! Who? The cow. One of the, One so of the soda poppers. <laughs> what? Oh my! Which one? Uh. Peepers! Peepers. I just tried. Really? Well, <laughs> by amazing coincidence, we happen to have Peepers backstage right now! Let's really? bring him out! Okay then. Aw, oh, she moved it. It's that true oh. wall! Oh, that what? <laughs> he happened was they snatched my <laughs> lyrics! I can't even imagine what horrifying act that's slang for. How are any of us supposed to listen to Burp Backlash being interviewed without blah blah blah, yak yak yak? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's try other guests ah, just to yes. see what happens. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. <laughs> There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? There was someone it else. It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. You're joking. Who? Uh, Philo Pennyworth. What? As I'm sure most the of chicken. you know, Philo Pennyworth is the actor who plays Mr. Featherly on Midtown Cowboys. And we happen to have him backstage. Let's bring him out. Philo, give us your side. Is it true? Myra, please, of course not. I'm a veteran of the British stage. I'd never be caught cavorting with a dog, a rabbit, and an alien. It's so 1997. Yikes! <laughs> I doubt we'll hear a <laughs> more terrifying dinner. <sighs> this year, anyone who is anyone is all about birds of prey, ring-tailed lemurs, and Bigfoot. No one will ever take you seriously at the Globe Theatre otherwise. Okay. And there you have it. I'm so shocked, I'm going to talk for at least the next five minutes about blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Shh, 
great. Blah, blah, blah. Just what I always <laughs> wanted to hear. Ah, uh, yes. Where were we? Okay, let's bring it up. I think we were discussing the That's alien the love now. triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Yeah, about that. I wonder that. if you couldn't bring Wizard out because he's There's more you should know oh, about let's that go, picture. Let's try that out then. Let's bring What's out that? the Wizard. There are still others involved. Ooh! How shocking! Who? Da, da, da. One of the soda poppers. Oh my! Which one? Wizard. <laughs> well, that's certainly an interesting accusation. We happen to have Wizard waiting backstage. Let's bring him out. Hi, Wizard. I have no. F what they? F All that happened was they gave me a ketchup cake. Oh my! F I have no idea what that even means, and it may be the single filthiest thing anyone said in my presence. I might be able to top it if you give me a chance. I prefer that you didn't. In fact, our country's shocking fascination with the double entendre is wrecking blah blah blah, yak yak yak. <sighs> blah 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 blah, <laughs> yak yak yak. Blah 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 blah, yak yak Where were we? Yak. I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah, yak blah, blah. yak. Yeah, There's yeah, more yeah, you yeah. should know about <laughs> that picture in the Times. What's I noticed. That? I noticed Max has an option when I select. It doesn't there was tell the whole story. Above, so There's let's someone go see else what involved. He says. Someone the picture doesn't show. Let's go. Incredible. Who? Oh, never mind. He just wants to talk about himself. So let's go with Bessie. Bessie Cow Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh my! Audience, shall we bring her back out again? Silence. <laughs> but, um, yeah, sure. Oh, very destroyed. At the risk of making the obvious comment, that was shocking. Is she breathing? A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nuts. I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another <laughs> glorious okay. dream bangs its chin on the sure. dirty pavement. <laughs> on the bright side, the audience is free to go home. <laughs> oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, oh. Speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty oh. popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Okay. Bread logs make me logy. Let's head back to the cooking show set and see if we can figure out how to make fried pork rinds. Okay, no, but I get the feet. Yeah. That's great. And that's the end of that episode. Or is it? Or is it? No, that was the end. No, we're at the credits right now. Oh. <laughs> Next one is, I believe, the mole, the meatball, and something else. The Some mole, the meatball, and uh, the mole, the mob, and the meatball. Yeah, that's it. Which is a huge parody on Mafia. From the toy and Mafia. Balls, Swedish meatballs. Yep. Meatballs. <laughs> yeah. <Or> your meatballs. <laughs> meatballs. But yep, thanks for joining us, guys. It was great to have you here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So let's listen to the lounge music while we call it a day. Oh, yeah. The music. Additional musicians created with the Telltale Tool, blah, 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 blah. Special thanks to all these people. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of people they're thanking. And, of course, you is one of them. As in me. As in people playing. And that's the end. See you guys later. Later. Whoop. Later.